so just in case you have an event coming up and you're looking for the appropriate way to promote your event look one of the things you can do is coming up with a creative flyer that aligns with the purpose of the event and look that alone would help you to market your event or just to create awareness so that interested persons can attend and in this video one of the things i'm going to do is i'm going to teach you how to create a very beautiful flyer inside of canva so without any further ado i think let me just roll the intro and let's get started Hey everyone, Benjamin here, a verified Canva expert based in Ghana. If this is your first time on this channel, look, subscribing to this channel is one of the things you can do to show your support. And if you're an OG, massive respect to you. I truly appreciate your support. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. All right, so you can see this is what we are going to do. And all I'll just do is to click on add a page, okay? The background color has already been set for us and I'll just show you the background color. So the color code is ECAF3. Eight. that is the background color okay and yeah we can see from our design uh, some paper elements you can see some scribbles you can see some circles you can see some tips and all of that let me show you how i did that in canva so the first thing i'll do is to press r on my keyboard for you know this square i would resize it like this then i will drag it down to somewhere like that okay let me make it a bit bigger so that we can have a feel of whatever we are doing okay so the next thing i'll do is to come to color and you can choose any color of your choice but i'm using this color and the color code is bd4935 okay yeah that is the color code for it now the next thing we are going to do is to build up on whatever we have so we are going to be adding some extra elements and by this where we need to go is the element tab okay so we just come into element and the first now do is to search for you know pattern i believe that's what i search for and there are so many patterns we can see so i'll just select this one like this make sure you're changing the color to white or gray or any color of your choice but it should be visible some way somehow okay then we increase the size like that now it's too visible so we'll just have to reduce the transparency so that it's not competing for attention okay now we have it like this the next thing we're going to do is to search for paper okay so paper texture right so we have this and you can see in photos we have some interesting ones over here this is what i used in the initial example so i'll increase the size and crop it this way then we also come into transparency then you can choose maybe 15 percent should be good okay some texture in here or you can come up to 20 percent okay then duplicate this and bring it down here all right so you can see what we have at the moment very easy and very cool and that's exactly what we had over here as well so now the next thing we'll do is to come back in here and search for paper tear or paper tier depending on where you are coming from okay so you can come into the graphics option and you should see a lot of options a whole lot of options okay you can choose any of them but let's go into photos to see if we'll find some interesting options from there all right so you can also see that we have some interesting options in here but honestly i can't really remember the one i chose that's the truth but what we'll do is i'll just come here okay and just duplicate and bring it down okay so i think it's one it should be one of these all right so i just selected come here white piece of paper so you can just search for white and that's also visible you see we have so many things over here and i think okay 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 this was actually a whole paper on its own and i just had to crop it okay so you can also search for any paper at all and crop it all right nice one there so now what we are simply going to do is to you know just make sure it's on the edges of our shape all right all right and i would increase this more and position this somewhere here so something like this which is cool then what we can also do okay is to duplicate it come into edit photo okay and in edit photo what you can do is you can come to draw tone so choose draw tone but before you actually go into draw tone okay what i need us to do is to copy the color code so we want to apply this yellow color to it okay so come into color and click on the add new color and copy it okay so i will just position this back come to the duplicated um paper over here come to edit photo then we can now choose dual tone okay then come into custom choose the highlight apply the color code to it come to the shadows and apply the same to it okay then we have what we have over here so now we can duplicate this oh no no it's not saved so before you actually do any duplication or anything at all make sure canva has saved your design that's one of the things you need to keep in mind okay so canva has it saved right now 
now i'll duplicate it and i can just rotate it to something like this okay position it here like this select this and i'll just group them together all right so i will select all the three okay so if you want to select multiple elements press and hold shift while you select them okay so i will just send them to the back back like that and i'll send this some way somehow to the top like this you can see what we have at the moment all right all right then we duplicate them all so if you also want to select an element behind press and hold control while you click okay uh -huh. you can select them or you can simply right click go to layer show layers and you would see all your elements okay nice so i'll just duplicate all the elements okay and i will rotate all right then i'll just come here and also place them behind okay just behind the yellow one and bring them down here okay but you need to be strategic okay because you can see that we have no way to clean up some of the paper elements so we just leave it like this and i think it's looking beautiful now the next thing to do is to come to elements again okay and just search for your subject image so afro girl that's one of the things i love to search for you know there are so many images but i'll just simply come to photos and in photos go to recent. i'll just go to recent leaves i'm not saying you should go to recent leaves i'll just go to recent leaves and use the same image because i don't want to stress okay so you can see this pretty lady who is posing like a queen then i'll come to edit photo and um one of the features i'm going to use that is only available in canva pro i think it's enough please i have a link in the description box below that can help you start using canva pro for free so kindly use the link down there so you can start using canva pro for free and also this template is also available the link is also in the description box below but it doesn't mean you should just switch and go use a template you should try to create this maybe when the need be you can switch and use a template okay when a client comes in or something like that you can use a template so please be careful be very careful <laughs> <laughs> yeah anyway so i'll just come in here and choose remove bg okay and you can see it's been removed then what i love to do is to flip her horizontally and also position her you know nicely over here so i'll also um, amplify her which is a nice word to use then you can see we have over here but what i also love to do these days is to make sure my image is matching the vibe of my design and how i do that is by applying some you know adjustment to my image i'm going to show you how i get to do that so well first of all have your image selected come into edit photo come into adjust and here we just play with the temperature okay so i just make it more warmer okay just so it applies to our design because you can see we have yellows and yellows are warm colors okay the tint i wouldn't touch it but if i wanted to touch it i would also just move it more to the negative side okay then with the brightness maybe we can reduce a little bit increase the contrast uh with the highlight we can increase it a little bit so just add some touches to it and let me know in the comment section if you want me to create a video on how you can edit your photos in canva okay so all right now we have this we are going to basically add our text so i press t on my keyboard for text and the text i'm using is bobby jones okay so all i just did was to add my text and i made it bigger and rotated it like this but i want to skip this whole process so i'll just select this copy and paste it over here okay then i'll send it to the back somewhere like that and maybe reduce you know here a little bit then what i can do is to come in my element and search for tape okay? in tape you see so many tapes over here so you can select any of them position them here duplicate the text okay and just place any text on it so i can just say event and this should be based on what your title is it may be or you may not need it even you may not even need it but just in case you need it that's how to go about it okay so I'll increase the size and i can use my arrow key to position everything nicely and yeah the next thing i'm going to do is to to search for scribble okay we'll see so many scribbles in here so you just have to patiently go through and um you know find what's okay i think the problem is because i'm in photo so make sure you're searching for this in element so search for scribble okay and you should see so many scribbles i'll come into graphics and yeah we have so many ones over here so this is the one i want the color is black so we change the color to white or a lighter gray then i positioned it here duplicated this text
text okay or yeah and also change the color to white or this lighter gray which i have over here now i just added it i can just say 10th june 2023 okay 2023 then i would make sure my text you know just format my text nicely and reduce the size then i position it somewhere here all right okay so now that i've done all of that what i can do is i can just bring everything down a little bit okay nicely then i just use my arrow keys to bring them down and select this and also bring it down all right all right now the next thing we are going to do is add some extra elements in here so it's just basically adding your text and some icons which i'm going to skip so i will just select everything here okay the circle things i believe you can easily do i'm just going to copy them come here and paste them in here all right all right okay it's basically me adding a text and just selecting the things i need which i'm doing so let me just do this quickly okay so i can position this here and i can even change the color so that the contrast is available okay and make all of this yellow very beautiful and very easy so now the interesting part is adding the graphics so i'll add some newspapers so newspapers in here i'll just search for newspapers okay then we have so many options over here so i can select it come here position a newspaper over here and there's so many options okay so i can also drag this and maybe come here and rotate it to something like this duplicate it no i think i should use another one okay so we are just being creative here i can send this behind here and i can okay also add this rotate it okay bring it here and just bring it somewhere here so you can see how we are making our design look so you can add as many as you want okay and just to wrap everything up what we can even do is with the red shape or orange shape you have over here i can just duplicate okay like i've done and position it in here and send it to the back okay so that's what you can also do just to add some texture in here and yes i believe we've been able to do everything oh one last thing so what we you can do okay is to duplicate this tip position it somewhere here okay and just add the name of your guest or you know if you don't want to add a name it's fine but you can just add the name of your guest to the design which i have done over here so you can see what we have done just duplicate and position it nicely and yes this is how i made this design inside of canva and let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this video and one of the things you can actually do to let me know you enjoyed it is by hitting on the like button if you have any questions leave it in the comment section and don't forget you have canva pro down there you can also get a template for free down there the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video i know you could do it all you gotta do is put your mind to it wake up i'm on to the next new day i gotta do my best uh, every day i put the work in the grind never stop you ain't never see me rest see me on top i never